And so this is quantum mechanics problem 11.11. 11. Um, just, uh, just an integration problem, that's all this is. Um, what we're going to do, all right, so this uh, comes from example 11.5, Yukawa scattering, all right. So the Born approximation for the Yukawa scattering gives us 11.91, this equation. So I'll write that out. Okay, so all we're going to be doing is uh, working out this integral and, and seeing what this gives us. So just for just for reference, um, where some of these parameters are coming from, here's the Yukawa potential. So here's where we get our beta, e to the minus mu r. Okay, so there's where we get our mu, and it's divided by r. Okay, and uh, what else? Kappa, again, uh, kappa integral is uh, k prime. Oops, look at the k's. All right, k prime, the incident uh, momentum, <coughs> and uh, k here is the the scattered momentum towards the detector. Okay, so we're just going to, all we'll be doing is working out this integral. So, um, let's go ahead and we'll just write this part of it. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put uh, sign in terms of complex exponentials. I'm just going to leave these semi-separate. So we get our, our R's all in one spot. Do our integration. So we have e to the i k minus mu. Okay. 
Oh, there's a minus sign out here. That's important if we want this to converge. So we're going to multiply these together, right? So we get a, uh, these are all supposed to be kappas and plus k's, but. So on the bottom, that's what we get. And again, this is uh, still evaluated. Zero to infinity. So this factor, right, that's this factor down here. That's good so far. All right, so um, and now I'm going to split these up again. Just I think it's more illustrative. So um, the reason I split this up is because we have kind of two parts. We have this complex exponential part, which is just going to oscillate, right, forever and ever, right? You could look at one of them going, like, you know, a wave going in one direction and the other a wave going in the other direction. But the part I wanted to draw attention to is this, uh, you know, the real exponential part, right, which just decays down to zero at infinity. All right, so the reason, that's why I split this up is just we, we see that when we put infinity in here, um, these go to zero. Okay. Because these, the real exponential parts will take it straight down to zero. Okay, so what we need to do now is Oh, I forgot to put R's in there. Okay. Let's make sure. Yeah. Okay. okay, I'm gonna just put a, the minus sign out front and then just plug in zero uh, for R. So this uh, will go, these will go to one, right? So we have a minus I, K, minus mu. That's multiplied by one, and then one here. So we'll have a minus i k plus. Mu. All right, so these means will leave us. Um, gonna take this minus sign out. All right, and we have a two i k over two i. Sorry, this is not a K, this is a Kappa. 
can never draw them distinctly enough to make them longer. All right. So kappa over kappa squared plus squared. All right. Now that we have this interval and this integral done, right? That's just this little piece right here. So when we plug this back in to our scattering amplitude, we have a minus 2m beta h bar squared kappa, and then multiplied by this part, which we got from the integral. So kappa over kappa squared plus mu squared. All right, so these will just go away. And we are left with this minus 2 m beta h bar squared, and then this mu uh, squared plus kappa squared. So whatever, maybe not the most physically illustrative problem, but we've confirmed the integral.